Hi, you're watching Scribbled Sim. This is Sid, and today we are going to be uh, making the Scooby Gang or the Mystery Gang in Cass. Um, we're going to start with Velma Dinkley. Um, she's kind of the, you know, the one that they kind of present as nerdy and homely in the group, but I mean, I think she's adorable, so we're just going to try and um, get her going here. I don't, if you watched my. Uh, making Scooby and Shaggy into, um, actual characters in The Sims, or and making them into Sims, then you'll no doubt kind of understand where I'm coming from, where I'm just trying to, um, make their cartoon selves into their Sim selves, and do it in an exaggerated type fashion, so if for whatever reason you see their features being exaggerated know that that is why because it's a caricature i'm not trying to make realistic versions of them um so there's that also um before i continue any further you might notice that the final products in the pictures will look a little different than the create a sim um that is because i forgot to save them when i finished them so i think pretty much everybody is exactly the same with maybe slight differences. Um, I know Fred has a different hair style and different shoes. And I think Daphne's a little bit different. Their, their faces are all going to be slightly different. But for the most part, I did as close of a recreation to my original product in the video as I could. Um, anyways, let's continue on here. Um, you, Velma here has um, auburn hair. And I um, I know that a lot of people usually present her with like red hair um but she does indeed have brown hair I, I it's just kind of got a reddish tint to it so that's what I went with I did see a lot of people showing her with like red hair short haircut um in more realistic versions but she has brown hair so that is why I went with that auburn hair color um and I wanted a more like straight across bowl type cut but we didn't really have one that I liked that had the volume I wanted we had like that really small one with the mosquito pack but that one was just it wasn't long enough in my opinion so I just kind of stuck with this haircut which honestly is cute I don't have a problem with it I went into the men's fashion as well when I was looking for her turtleneck because I wanted her to have like a really baggy turtleneck However, we don't have a really baggy turtleneck that comes in bright orange that is not a dress. So, um, I had to do what I could. And I think I found the closest, you know, shirt that I could to work with. Um, I just wish that we have a sweater dress that is orange and has a turtleneck and it looks fantastic but she can't wear a skirt with it so it kind of defeats the purpose this is not the shirt i go with um we will change it up in a minute because i don't like the scarf i think the scarf throws things off so i say no thank you don't want you go away we get a new shirt here's the shirt we end up with i know it's not a turtleneck but i feel like it is the right color and it's the right shape and it's basically the best option that I have and I again I'm trying to do all of this um she's coming up her final look so we have her original in the cartoon and then we have the create a sim version and I think she's cute and I like her and now let's move on to Fred Jones uh, the leader of the pack if you will um so yeah basically I'm trying my best to um get them as close as possible to where they need to be um and that is that is that uh and we don't oh yeah and i'm trying to make sure sorry i lost my thought for like two seconds um i'm trying to make sure that everything that i do is um with the game like i'm not using any cc because i want to upload these to the gallery so that way everybody can use them and again i'm not using base game i am using different packs but um so i mean you have to have the packs that i use in order to download them as well i guess but i think that's better than having the cc because i think the cc is um partially what might 
deter some people from downloading it. I was going to download a bunch of CC, but a lot of the Scooby-Doo stuff that I was seeing was for, um, was for Sims 3, not for Sims 4. So there's that. Uh, if you will hold on one second, my dog is looking at the front door like someone's here. So if you just hold tight one minute, I'll continue the voiceover. Don't mind me, I was just a little bit spooked. I have been watching Criminal Minds all day, so my brain immediately went to, I'm about to get murdered. Um, <laughs> no, um, basically, where was I? Oh yeah, so I'm doing Fred. Um, I didn't want to do any CC. I'm just using the stuff that comes in packs, so... Um, if you have the packs that I used, then these are accessible to you. Um, finding Fred's pants was fun, I guess. Um, he, uh, he wears, like, the bell bottoms, so I had to find some good boot cuts with a nice flair. Um, I ended up going to the jeans because those are the ones that had the best flair. That's just a fact. <laughs> um, and again, uh, he is slightly different. Um, in the new one that I, in the new, I guess, version of him that I made, he's a little bit different. He has different shoes and different hair, but I think that everything else is the same for the most part. Um, yeah, but he was fun to make. I enjoyed him. Um, it was a little hard because, you know, couldn't find anything with a red or with an orange scarf around his neck. Um, the biggest challenge was finding uh, stuff that matched people because they wear a lot of scarves, these people. <laughs> uh, at least him and Daphne wear scarves and we don't have any tops that come with scarves that have the right color, um, the right colors. So I kind of, thankfully we had a white sweater with like a blue shirt underneath. And that was the main goal that I had was getting that. And then I figured the chain on this was like the right amount of flair to kind of symbolize a scarf, if you will. So we have the original Fred, as you can see, orange scarf. And then we have the new Fred. Again, this is the one that I redid. He has different hair. And then we're going to move on to Daphne Blake. She, um, I know that she has like journalism aspirations in uh, some of the seasons of Scooby-Doo. Um, I'm not sure which iteration of it, but I know that that is like one of her things that she wants to get done. Um, I guess I included her uh, aspiration picking like in this one, which I didn't in the others. I made her clumsy because she's the accident prone one. So she's the one that kind of is always falling down or getting caught in something. So yeah, I think that it worked out. She has these huge eyes that they give her with that kind of cat eye liner. Um, so I just, I gave her really big eyes and tried to give her a little bit more cheekbone structure and a little bit of a longer face. Like Velma had a really round face. Um, Fred had a really square jaw and then she's got kind of more of a, um, I guess you could say a diamond shaped face. So I was trying to get that accomplished, um, when it came to making her. And so, yeah, right now I'm just trying out different hairstyles for Daphne. Um, that's what I've been doing. Don't mind my dog whining in the background. She hears noises outside still. So she is crying about those. Because it's about time for her dado to get home. And she gets real vocal when it's time for him to get home. I hear you, Cricket. I do. But dado's not going to be home for another, like, hour. I know. Can I do my voiceover? Can I? Thank you. So basically, yeah, I went with this hairstyle because I felt like it um, really exemplified the volume that Daphne's hair has um, and everything like that. Even though it didn't have the more straight across bang look, it still 
or a, or a headscarf. We don't have any headscarves that have a hairstyle that they pair with that look like Daphne-esque. Um, but yeah, so we're just doing her tights that are more of a pink color. Um, and then we're just trying to find an outfit for her. Um, she's wearing like a long sleeve dress um, and a green scarf in her original iteration. Um, that one was getting a little hard to find. Um, so I decided to go with an outfit, like maybe a top and a bottom that was in the right kind of purple color that might work out. Um, doo -doo -doo. So, and I was really tempted <laughs> to go with some CC because I do have some CC outfits that would have worked perfectly for her. Um, and, and you'll see here. Like, I'm trying on some of the shirts because I'm like, maybe, but like, I'm like, no, you have to go with, you have to go with just game stuff, not CC because, you know, you want people to be able to download it. So I end up going with the Moschino Pack um, outfit, this right here, because I think it works. It's not like terribly out of character for her. So here we have the original and then we have her in that. And then we have the group shot. And then we'll have all the rest of them. So thanks for watching. And I will be doing the Mystery Mansion next. So make sure that you keep your eyes peeled for that. And subscribe.